Hello, today is Saturday, August the 1st, and this is my weekend gardening project. So I probably mentioned in previous videos, but the dogs got in here and they jumped on the soil a bunch. And um, this is a keyhole garden, by the way. They jumped on the soil a bunch. And uh, I didn't know that so much damage had been done, but then my plants started suffering. And I uh, recently realized that uh, soil was extremely compacted. It's really high quality soil, but extremely compacted by the dogs jumping on it. So today, I'm doing this two parts. Today, doing the right half. I just get in there, I dig all the way down to the wood and newspaper down at the bottom where I uh, started this, and I just get it real loose, till the soil, so I started there, I'm going to push all of this over there and kind of dig out the middle here, and then push it up there, and then dig out this corner, and then even it all out and water it thoroughly, and then tomorrow I'll do the same for the other side, it's too much to do in a single day. Not to mention it's 100 degrees. But uh, yeah, after that, the keyhole garden should be repaired. The dog barrier is not super nice looking. And I could, using these same materials, construct something much better looking, but that's a different project. So this is what I'm doing this weekend. And the uh, plants are mainly okay. They're getting burnt up pretty bad by the sun, but for the most part they're alright. Um, oh, and I moved the, the few basil and the tiny, pretty sure to die okra that were here over into that bucket, kind of in the shade. Some good soil and water. Alright, so I'm going to finish this. I am so exhausted, but half of it's done water. And then tomorrow I get those two pepper plants and that one tomato plant out of that side and do the same for it. Finished it. So the only two plants in here right now are the big tomato which isn't so big anymore because <sighs> I cut the dead parts off and I accidentally broke a piece off while I'm moving it, and this bell pepper plant is there, um, the basils, and the, those other little guys are over here, I don't know if they're going to make it, those little guys, Let's see, yeah, um, I'll go ahead and do a plant video, I watered this yesterday, now look at it, it's not drooping, here's the other pepper plant, Banana pepper. Put them in this pot. She used to have dead roots in it. Uh, okay, so that's that garden over there. Let's go check this out. Oh, one more thing I want to do today is pull the strawberry plant out of that planter. Give it one of these pots with good soil. One of those those pots. Here's these guys. I watered the mimosas yesterday. They they uh, run out of water pretty fast. They're thirsty guys, which is surprising. This one's real pretty. Right up there. Uh, yeah, the sugarcane has had better days. I don't know native climate, how much sun is supposed to get, I don't know those kind of things. But I don't think it's suffering too bad. Sorry, I wasn't even looking where I'm pointing the camera. It's got a lot of this dry, dead stuff, but I think that's all near the base, which is kind of normal, maybe? I don't know. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's in any danger, because the top's still very green and tall. So, more Malbar spinach. Mimosas. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. So these these ones are real important right now. Oh, Chris. Okra, okra. Ooh. We had a collapse over here. This guy fell over, which knocked off this guy, which knocked off this guy. <laughs> and that's something knocked over back there. All right. I guess the solo cups don't stay upright very well while sitting on mulch. Looks like we had a basal death over here. And you know what else? This one, back here, deceased. Too small of a pot, I say. Okay, so that's that. Sorry if that's loud. Takes two hands. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's check this. This is a strawberry out. I think he's suffering. Get him out of here. Oh, yeah. He's not a happy camper. Funny, it's water. And other things. <laughs> yeah, I'll pull him out today. Uh, whatever this is, doing great. Looks like a wild pepper plant to me. I won't know until we get flowers and fruit. Because I don't know stuff like that. It's not Looks like even this weed here is suffering. We are in the 100 degrees ever since. These are just branches that I cut off of this guy. Because he, I, I was going to trim that branch off for a long time, so I did. And I put those in here. Alright, there's the strawberry plants, new home. I tried breaking up the crown into three pieces. I don't know how that's going to work out, but this is the one with the roots. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And then here's the basil. Uh, the background got really noisy really fast. So I'm ending it here. Goodbye, thanks for watching.